this search for an answer seems like innocent conditioning an innocent movement an innocent assumption that if something happens or I get something if this changes then it will be better I will feel more whole I'll feel more enough I'll feel satisfied I will feel content happy at peace it's such a tricky thing tricky little energy that eventually creates this whole illusion, this whole dreamland, dream world. And when it's so-called in effect, that's all there is, you know, in a way. It seems like, it appears like that's all there is, that this is real. And what I think is happening is actually what's happening. what you want because you won't get anything you won't become more fulfilled you won't become more whole more enough more worthy an obviousness will just be revealed that There was no need for completion. No need for actually anything to happen. No need at all. <laughs> but as long as a need is there, as long as a question is there, as long as a longing is there, there's nothing wrong with it. It's all part of the play of whatever this is, the play of life. And so it will go. No one's making that happen. No one needs to stop the search. If a stopping happens, That's just happening and it doesn't happen to special people it doesn't happen to anyone in particular because no one is there no one is anywhere you know sure I can name some so-called qualities or characteristics that might be common But when owner and identification happen with those qualities, it becomes another way of being, it becomes another position. And because of that, 
whenever there's ownership, whenever there is a way of being, other things will be pushed aside. Other things will be dismissed, repressed, suppressed. I mean, perhaps not, like, it's just clear that if there is something that you're sticking to, you're automatically dismissing the other part, the other side, the other side of the coin of that. So let's pick an example. There seems to be an incredible amount of just honesty here, whatever that means. I can't help it. But if there was an identity trying to be honest as possible, then dishonesty would be looked at as a really bad thing. And perhaps there would be guilt and shame around it. But really, there is nothing wrong with lying I'm not encouraging you to lie but I'm saying let's say little white lies there is nothing wrong with that it's just kind of a, a natural assessment of the circumstance what's going on and And if, the, if it feels most true to not just blurt out the whole truth, that's just quite wise. And there's another word. Gosh. <laughs> you see how sticky these things can get? Like you try to stick to these things like be vulnerable, be compassionate, be grateful, be forgiving or and all of that stuff is great, it's fine but what's wrong with being angry? what's wrong with hating? what's wrong with seeing something wrong and feeling rage about it? what's wrong with all of the different <sighs> colors of life I'm not saying be reckless and just attack people or you know do some so-called harmful things I'm just saying that there's nothing wrong with all emotions all feelings there can be a time and place for all of them there can be circumstances where it calls for that emotion This was one of the hardest things to really see because I was such a spiritual person, I was such a good person, trying to be conscious and awake and awaken others and raise other people's consciousness and I thought that was the purpose of life. And in a way it can be beautiful, in a way it's... Um, it's a so-called positive dream to have 
but to really see through that all of that is a made up idea that that is not truth that was quite shattering in a good way but also it was quite disturbing in another sense because my whole life my whole ideology um, just everything was oriented around that so and you know it took a lot of apparent time to just dissolve that it didn't all go at once But once you say something like that, and because there's going to be ownership of the body, of the so-called consciousness here, or the awareness or witnessing that's going on apparently here, there's going to be ownership of it. There's going to be claiming of it. There's going to be a sense of specialness and importance. Then it's going to be projected everywhere. And you're either going to be better than or less than that person is going to be better than or less than and that's inevitable so in a way none of this is a problem because it's in a way it's inevitable that when there is identification that that kind of interplay that kind of up and down happens automatically So I'm not saying that there aren't benefits for the body to really relax, let some suppressed things come up, have insights, sit in silence, if that's what's longed for or it just feels good. To help another, to give advice. I'm not saying any of that is a problem because that probably still happens here. I just don't really think about it. But it's coming from a place where there's not a solid position here anymore of like, this is the right way to be. And that when, when that cage breaks loose, there's a lot more freedom for the so-called other. There are no others, but a so-called other body to just be the way it is. You are so loved the way you are, like exactly the way you are in this instant. No need to change, no need to be something else. No need to be better than what you are right now. that yummy and then you'll see that the body still does it still moves and it could be done from less and less of a place of if I do this then I will feel good enough then I will be feel validated when it comes less and less from that place and you see that the body still 
is conditioned to do. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. The body is amazing. Did you know that? Did you know that the body is doing everything on its own? <laughs> Look at how gorgeous 